Beating Yoshi games without using eggs. Is this a new concept? Nope, as I attempted to beat Yoshi's Island and Yoshi's Woolly World without breaking an egg last year, and today marks the comeback of this series, but with the weirdest Yoshi game of them all, Yoshi Story. The rules are simple. We are going to try to see if we can actually beat Yoshi's story without breaking a single egg. What does that mean? Well, this game plays like a book, starting you off with page 1 and ending on page 6. Each page contains 4 levels you can pick, and depending on the amount of super happy hearts you collect in each of those levels, you will unlock more levels in the following page. In other words, this means that even though this game has 24 levels, you only have to beat 6 to reach the ending credits. For this quest, we'll be playing all 24 levels, starting with the first row, then the second, then the third, and finally the fourth. Now that everything has been set, let's see if this game can be completed eggless. Oh, before we attempt anything, let me tell you why this game is so different. In Yoshi's Story, to beat a level and advance to the next, you don't simply play it and reach the ending. No, that would make so much sense. But there's no victory rings or flagpole in this one. Instead, there are fruits all over the place, and to beat a stage, you need to eat 30 fruits to make Yoshi super happy. Thankfully for us, Page 1-1 contains lots of fruits that are just hanging out in the air, just waiting to be consumed by our pal Yoshi. Some of those fruits are inside of bubbles that you usually pop with your eggs, but obviously we'll not be doing that in this quest. This stage contains lots of little shy guys and some of them are carrying some fruits, so they're actually quite helpful. There's also a minigame where you have to reach the goal before the chain chump starts eating some melons. If you manage to do it fast enough, you get 7 extra fruits. I actually managed to get through this entire level collecting tons of fruits, but I was 5 fruits short to beat the stage. I assumed I had to start popping some of those bubbles we saw earlier in the level to eat my final fruits. I started pushing some of the bubbles to have them all in one spot so that I just have to use one egg to pop them all, but as I was pushing a bubble, it popped! What? You can actually pop those bubbles by just bouncing into them? Yeah, it takes a while and can be a little bit tedious, but it works! Using this new strategy, I ate my final 5 fruits and completed the stage. Along the way, I collected a couple of lovely hearts and these will unlock more levels in page 2. But since I'm playing only the first row of levels right now, well let's head to page 2-1. This level takes place in a dark cave, and there's gonna be lots of fruits that are inside of bubbles. But now that we know the special bubble popping technique, we can just jump, push and hit them until the bubble pops and we get to eat the fruit that's inside. This level is full of those bone dragon enemies, and at first I wasn't so sure we could get past them without using eggs to defeat them, but you can actually try to make your way above them, and in case that doesn't work, well just take damage and quickly move through them while you're invincible. One thing that we cannot escape are those big blue blocks over there. We need to break them to make our way to the next part of the stage, and there's nothing that can break them beside eggs. We're gonna need to use one egg to break this first wall over there, and four more eggs to dig a path through the wall over there. Ugh. Five eggs to be this single level? Now that's a bummer. Page 3-1 is a very easy level that takes place in the sky, with you jumping on those flying snakes to make your way up in the air, collecting tons of yummy yummy fruits as you go. There's no need for a single egg in this level, and most of the fruits are not even in bubbles, so it's super easy to get the required 30 fruits and beat the stage. After you eat this final fruit, instead of beating the stage, you will be warped inside of an arena to fight a boss. Introducing Cloud and Candy, a boss that is just made out of cotton candy, meaning you have to eat it to defeat it. This boss is a complete joke to be honest, and since you have to eat him, well there's no need for a single egg, which is pretty cool. Page 4-1 is up, and this level is pretty relaxing, taking place inside of little huts and featuring a couple of challenges to get some delicious fruits. 
Most of the fruits you'll find here are waiting to be collected and are not inside of bubbles. But if a fruit is inside of a bubble, well just keep jumping on it, pushing it, bouncing it, whatever, until the bubble bursts and eat the deliciousness that's inside. It's pretty easy to collect hearts as well, but since we're going for the first row of level right now, these are not useful yet. Page 5-1 is the first underwater level in this quest, and those levels might turn out to be our best allies. You cannot use eggs while swimming underwater, meaning most of the fruits are just waiting to be collected and are not inside of yucky bubbles. The same thing can be said about the hearts, as they are just waiting to be collected right away. You can get all three that way too. Keep swimming and eating some fruits and this level will be done in no time. Page 6-1 is up and this castle level is kind of difficult, but not because you cannot use eggs, no. The castle is actually filled with moving lugs, spinning gears, but most importantly, those hydraulic presses waiting to crush you. And it doesn't matter how much health you have left, if you get crushed in between those two presses, you're done for. I actually lost a bunch of Yoshis while making my way through the castle, but eventually I managed to get all of the fruits needed and reach the final boss, Bowser. To defeat this little dude, you have to throw things at the spikes up there to hurt him. Thankfully, those things you throw are actually bombs and not eggs. And they keep falling from the sky too, so there's actually no need for a single egg. And there we go, we did it! We defeated Bowser and saved Yoshi's Island, yay! After doing the first row of levels, we managed to beat it and it took us 5 eggs in page 2-1, which is more than the zero we want to get. So now we'll have to explore row number 2 and see if it's going to be better. To explore the second row in every single pages, we'll have to make sure we collect at least one happy heart in each level. So without further ado, let's do this. Page 1-2 is kind of easy being on the first page, but I have to admit that a lot of the fruits are hidden inside of bubbles, so get ready to do lots of bubble popping technique and this might take a while. Getting hearts will also be quite easy, as they're usually all available to be collected wherever you are. We don't need a single egg to complete this level. Page 2-2 contains a lot of lava and those scary blarg enemies appearing out of it. Thankfully, you just have to wait for them to go back inside of the lava and make your jump afterwards. Popping fruit balloons over the lava is pretty useless, as the fruit falls directly in the lava and gets turned into ashes, meaning you won't be able to eat it. Thankfully, there's more than enough fruits in this stage to beat it. Plus, most of the hearts are hidden in plain sight, so getting one will be quite easy. Page 3-2 is such a relaxing level. You have to bounce on those metallic springs to make your way up the big tower. There are going to be multiple fruits on your way up there and collecting them is usually not too difficult. Obviously, you'll have a couple of bubbles to pop if you want to get 30 fruits, but we're getting good with just pushing them around so it's no worries. Collecting a heart also should not worry you, as all three hearts are just lying around waiting to be collected. No eggs required here, until you eat your final fruit and are sent in the boss room. Inviso the invisible ghost is up, and he cannot get hurt by your Yoshi tongue or ground pound attacks. Nope, the only thing that can defeat him is, you guessed it, eggs. It takes 3 eggs to beat this dude and clear the stage. <sighs> Page 4-2 is a very difficult stage taking place in the jungle. The difficult thing about this one are those evil fishes swimming in the water that are just waiting to jump and eat Yoshi. There are lots of bubbles with fruits you need to pop, and while doing so, you have to avoid the big fishes and it's very difficult. This blue fish that keeps spitting at you is super annoying and makes your life really hard. Thankfully, getting at least one heart is no problem, as there's one near the beginning you can collect by just swimming down over there. Eventually, you'll have enough fruits to move on. Page 5-2 is yet another underwater level, and I'm really thankful for that type of level right now. There are no bubbles underwater, just fruits waiting to be collected. The hearts are very well hidden in this level, but getting at least one shouldn't be a problem. 
keep swimming and exploring until you have the 30th fruit and let's get ready to reach the final page. Page 6-2 starts off with this big blue locked door that you can't get into. You'll be needing to find a key and to do so, well, you'll have to climb up the tower and explore the area. There's going to be a couple of fruits on your way, but sadly, you'll soon do a complete circle of the map and go back to the main area without a key and without enough fruits to beat this stage. You see, this dude over there has the key and you have to throw an egg at him to retrieve it. So I actually wanted to avoid having to do so, but I was missing 4 fruits, so I actually had to break an egg. Ugh. After you open that door and reach the next area, well getting 4 fruits will not be too difficult and we'll be fighting Bowser again in no time. It's just the same fight as previously, so just use the bombs and secure the win. We've now completed the second row and once again we had a couple of issues. Page 3-2 required 3 eggs to beat the boss and 6-2 required 1 egg to get the key, bringing the total to 4 eggs for this row, which is an improvement over the first one, but still isn't that zero I want. Anyways, let's try row number 3. Page 1-3 will be quite the challenge if we want to avoid using eggs. You see, there are lots of those rails with cloud platforms you have to ride on, but at some points you're going to have to hit eggs on those switches if you want to progress with this cloud platform. This is not what we want to do in this quest though, but thankfully we can just bounce on those bumpers over there and use them to get up to the next cloud platform and continue our quest. Yay! Hooray for Yoshi's flutter jump ability! Now that we are doing the third row, we'll have to make sure to grab at least two hearts, which is thankfully not very difficult in this stage. There's one over there, just waiting to be collected, and a second one up there that you reach by flutter jumping. With our two hearts equipped, let's eat some fruits and move to the next stage. Page 2-3 takes place in the sewers and is full of yucky slime. There's no time to know if the slime is dirty or not, as we have to eat the fruits inside of it anyways. You'll soon reach this mid-boss over there and to defeat it and get the heart it has, you'll have to be using 3 eggs. And trust me, we don't want to do that right now. Thankfully, there are more hearts hidden in the sewers and we can get one over there without using an egg. Sadly for us, the third heart is hidden behind those blue blocks and we cannot break them no matter what we do. We'll have to be using an egg to break the block and get the heart. In other words, beating this stage doesn't require an egg, but having enough hearts to reach 3-3 will require one. Page 3-3 is a winter theme level and it contains those little shy guy dudes throwing snowballs at you. They're quite annoying and will make bubble popping quite difficult. Thankfully, there are lots of fruits just waiting to be collected, making this level quite easy. Getting two hearts is also not very difficult, and you'll be able to do it without breaking a single egg. I wish I could say the same thing about beating the boss, Cloudjin, but once again, the only way to defeat this dude is to throw three eggs at him. Dang it! Page 4-3 is a really annoying level that contains lots of those flying piranha plants that turn you into mini Yoshi if they eat you. Since we cannot use eggs to defeat them, we'll have to keep dodging those, which is easier said than done. There are going to be bigger plants along the way, and you'll want to take damage and use your temporary invincibility to go through them. That's my safest bet right now. Get ready to pop lots of balloons and lose many Yoshis along the way. This level is insanely difficult, but thankfully, it can actually be cleared without breaking an egg, and this even while collecting some hearts. Page 5-3 is a much easier stage. In fact, it's so easy that it should have been a level from the very first page. Dodge the limbo shy guys, eat some delicious fruits and you'll be all good. I have to admit that the hearts are well hidden in this stage though, so I had to use a guide to find them. I mean, how am I supposed to know that doing a ground pound in this exact spot but we'll make a heart appear out of nowhere. Isn't it kind of random? Page 6-3 features lots of blind boo ghosts, forcing you to move slowly to avoid getting hurt by them. There's gonna be more than enough fruits for you to eat in 
this castle, soon bringing you to the final fight against Bowser. And once again, it's the exact same fight as the previous two, so get some bubums and you'll be good to go. Row number 3 has been cleared and we needed 1 egg to get a heart in 3-2 and 3 eggs to defeat the boss in 3-3. Meaning this row's total is 4 eggs. No improvement over the other rows, but at least we didn't make it worse. Time for the fourth and final row. Page 1-4 is a very fun level where you need to go up the tower using those helicopter propeller thingies. They're super fun to play with. Getting fruits along the way is not super difficult, and although you'll need to pop a couple of bubbles here and there, we never actually need to use an egg to do so. Getting all 3 hearts is also fairly easy and will not require a single egg. Hmm, Yoshi, are you okay my dude? You look kinda squished. Page 2-4 is a maze-like sewer level with lots of hidden stuff and it's kinda hard to navigate and find your way around. Keep exploring to find the required fruits and thankfully you'll also find all 3 hearts and they can all be obtained without the use of a single egg. Nice. Page 3-4 starts off with this big wheel that you have to spin, but there's also a balloon you need to pop to get a heart, which is easier said than done. Not so far in the level, you'll reach this wall of blue blocks, and as you can guess, this one's gonna be a problem as it goes up all the way in the sky. We'll have no choice but to use an egg to break the wall open, which is a shame. You'd also normally want to use more eggs to break those bricks and get the heart over there, but this level was nice enough to give us these little penguin bird dudes that can be used just like an egg, without actually being one. Sadly, those little guys disappear after you collect your 30th egg, meaning you won't be able to bring them into the boss fight, and as usual, you'll need to use 3 eggs to defeat the boss, bringing the total to 4 eggs to beat this stage. <sighs> Page 4-4 might be the weirdest level in any Nintendo game ever. It is full of neurons, those blob-like enemies. But just look at them, they're gross. What are they supposed to be exactly? And why are they so weird? Ugh. Anyway, some of these blobs can be squished with a ground pound attack, helping you out getting all of the hearts needed to beat this stage. No eggs will be required in this one. Page 5-4 contains this shy guy boat in the background that keeps shooting out bombs at you. If you grab some of those bombs, you can use them to break bubbles instead of eggs, which is pretty neat. Sadly, they explode not too long after you collect them, so bringing a bomb around is not exactly a good idea. Getting fruits is not a challenge in this one, and getting the first two hearts is also pretty easy but this last one over there requires you to break this block and there's just not enough time to bring a bomb over there with you, so we'll actually be forced to use one egg. Bummer. Welcome to page 6-4, the final level of the game. This one is filled with lava that you'll have to dodge and this can be quite annoying to do. Not so far into the stage, you'll reach this area here with a block that prevents you from making your way to the next part. There's sadly not enough fruits to beat the stage before you get there, so you'll actually need to break one egg to open up the path. Once that is done, no more eggs will be required and Bowser will be up, and the fight is the same, so you'll be good to clear it egg-less. Alright, so row 4 forced us to use a total of 6 eggs, making it the worst row ever for this quest. Does that mean that Yoshi's story cannot be completed without an egg? Well, not really. See, I played all of the levels in order, but you can actually decide which levels you play after every single page depending on the amount of hearts you collected in the previous one. So with that in mind, we can actually manage to find a path that would not require a single egg. For example, starting with 1-1, then moving to 2-2, and then moving back to 3-1, 4-1, 5-1, and 6-1 would be a very viable way of getting 0 eggs and beating the game. So, is it possible to beat Yoshi's story without breaking an egg? Yes it is. You'll have to find the perfect path to do it, but there are multiple levels that do not require eggs to clear and get the hearts. So this quest is actually possible. Thank you so much for watching this video my dudes, I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, like and hit the bell to know when the next challenge video drops. 
Join Team BBQ by clicking the big join button down there if you want your name in the credits like those amazing members, and I will see you in the next one.